Dust reduction is one of those underrated parts of vehicle, military vehicle design because if there's a, um, a column of vehicles on the move, particularly on unsealed roads, you can see them 20, 30 kilometres away. Mm. Um, if you're just on a high place, you can say, someone, and it's not us, is moving down that road. Mm. And that is powerful information. Um, and anything you can do that reduces that, that means um, it, it, you've got to be closer and closer and closer to, to pick it up, is, is not to be uh, underestimated either. No. Because if, if, if a Mark 1 eyeball on a hilltop with a radio can be uh, monitoring the um, you know, uh, vehicle movement, yeah, you know, Australian Coast Watchers and uh, up in the islands to the north mm. during the war. Mm. Um, <coughs> uh, Didn't we do a good job by them? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, some people pointed out that um, uh, in various comments on the interwebs is that uh, uh, other tank. There are some other tanks around the world, John, that are under fifty tons as well and can utilise those Japanese bridges. And where do you think they come from? China and Russia. Mm. Yes, they have a lot of tanks uh, <laughs> that uh, are under uh, under those fifty tons. However, what do they not have? What do those tanks not have? C four I. Gun depression. Ah. They can't go to the top of a hill and peep over the top and lower. Z215 can? 